Welcome back to Biochemistry. The doubt that has been asked is related to different energetics shown in different books for metabolism. For this, let me take you back to the chapter on biological oxidation. In biological oxidation, we have studied that NADH and FADH2 through electron transport chain they form ATP. Now, one NADH gives you three ATPs or 2.5 ATPs and one FADH2 gives you two ATPs or 1.5 ATPs. This is little dicey. Okay. Now, different theories have been proposed and many scientists have uh, tried to explain you. The theory says that when NADH or FADH2 that are being formed during the course of metabolism, they donate their reducing equivalents in the form of H plus ions through electron transport chain that generate proton motive force. And this proton motive force is responsible for ATP formation. It has been observed that 4 H plus ion translocation is responsible for 1 ATP formation. Or in other words, I can say that 1 ATP formation requires 4 H plus ion translocation. So when NADH are donating their electrons and H plus ions through electron transport chain, 10 H plus ions are translocated. So 10 by 4 comes to 2.5 ATPs. Similarly, FADH2 when passed through electron transport chain or donates its H plus ions through electron transport chains, 6 H plus ions are formed. So 6 upon 4, 1.5 ATPs. Okay, so what you have to do is, what you have to do is, whenever you study metabolism and uh, try to understand the energetics or try to calculate the energetics, please mention that 1 NADH is equals to 2.5 ATPs and 1 FADH2 is equals to 1.5 ATPs. In some books you will find that the values have been rounded off to 3 and 2 respectively. Another school of thought says that all these biological systems they follow thermodynamical laws or physicochemical laws. So when thermodynamics is being followed, it has been said that efficiency of any system cannot be 100%, cannot be 1. Similarly, that is also true for electron transport chain. When H plus ions are translocated, some of the H plus ions, they leak out through some other sources other than F0, F1 particle. And hence, they are not utilized for ATP formation. And hence, the value cannot be 3. So, that also justifies that 1 NADH gives you 2.5 ATP, that is 3 minus 0 0.5. Similarly, 1 FADH2 gives you 1.5 ATP and not 2 ATP that is 2 minus 0 0.5 that 0 0.5 0 0.5 loss is that your loss of efficiency loss of uh, leaking of H plus ions and I hope this will uh, make you understand the basic concepts behind the values that has been mentioned in some of the new books that 1 NADH gives you 2.5 ATPs and 1 FADH2 gives you 1.5 ATPs. So use this information for calculation of your energetics and whenever you are calculating, please mention this relationship 1 NADH is 2.5 ATP and 1 FADH2 is equals to 1.5 ATP. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless.